Hey there, this is Clay, and here's maybe a bit more of a tactical uh, question that we get. And that is, what do you do if you're, you're out in public, you know, you're going grocery shopping or something, and you run into your ex, um, and you know, maybe they're even out with, with their new partner, their new boyfriend or girlfriend. You know, what do you do at that point? Uh, do you ignore them? Do you uh, go up and directly address the situation? Like, what do you do? Um, and I believe that you should go up and and at least introduce yourself. Just be like, hey, uh, I just saw you from across the way and I just wanted to stop and say hi. Um, I'm in the middle of running some errands so I can't talk, but I just saw you and wanted to say hey. Uh, hope everything's going well. Um, you know, that's probably the, 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 the best uh, answer to that situation I, would, I, I could give you without any more specific details. Um, but, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to really do the thing where you, where you just ignore them and hide in the corner or anything because, you know, you may think that they don't see you, but really they do see you. Really they do, and it's kind of weird, it's awkward, and it's not going to put you in a positive light. Um, one of the last times I saw my ex in the past was, was actually at Safeway. Um, I was there buying some stuff, uh, getting ready for a camping trip the next day with my friend, and uh, she was there with, with her, her new guy, and um, uh, we, were, we were checking out in the same line because it was late at night and it was the only line open, um, and, and she was actually really terrified. She, she like did this thing where she was like hiding behind her, her new boyfriend, like trying to you know, be invisible or something, and it was really awkward and weird. And, um, you know, you don't want that to happen to you. You don't want to really come off as that, like, weird, creepy person. Um, and what's even weirder is, like, after I got out of the store and I got back in the car and everything, um, her and her, her boyfriend followed me home and did, like, this weird drive-by of my house. And, you know, that, that's absolutely creepy and you don't want to do that. Um, what, what I'd really suggest is that, again, like I said before, just directly address the problem. Uh, don't make a big deal about it. Just say something like, hey, I saw you, just wanted to say, hey, um, I'm in the middle of doing some stuff. I don't have time to talk right now, but I just wanted to say hello. And then go on your way. Uh, you know, it's friendly. It's, it's not uh, monopolizing too much of their time. It's not being emotional. It's not caught injecting drama into the situation or anything like that. Uh, so that's what I suggest. Um, I hope this helps you out. And if you'd like to learn more about how to get back together with the person that you love, please head on over to relationshipinnergame.com and sign up so that we can start helping you today. Thanks.